Hey guys, this is another on um, Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1 gameplay. And our last video we covered Act 1 Splash Show Zone. Today we're gonna do Act 2 and maybe we might do Act 3. So let's get this started. And for any people who who are been waiting for Okay, I don't know why that thing um, I just wanted to start this from the beginning. Um for people who have been waiting for a more for a more cheaper price on Sonic the Hedgehog 4 episode 1 on the App Store. Today is their chance to get this app for just 6.99. It's a limited time offer. They're having this Halloween sale. So, um, okay, I don't know why I'm swinging that a lot. Um, so you guys, if you really want this game for just $6.99, there's your, there's your time where you can get this right now. And I think it will be over since, it will be over, um, when it's on November, so you guys be sure to get this game for just six ninety nine. And yeah. They also have an update for this game. Okay. I'm just not being good at this game that much. And I'm truly sorry about this quality, you guys. Man, that thing is freaking annoying. So I, sorry for the quality, you guys. But, um, I can't, um, well, usually I don't have a camera. But I'll try and see if I can borrow someone's camera. Because usually I'm getting sick of tired of recording my cell phone. And in our last video, it looked horrible. And... I recently want a camera right now so I can record all my videos. So, uh, yeah, so you guys will be able to see this video really good. And the thing that I want to tell you guys is that they haven't been that good reviews on this game. And the thing is, because of the retina display, which is true, it looks horrible. Only on Sonic, because usually and mostly in iPod, in iPod Touch games or iPhones, they can't reasonably do more more better graphics than as they want them to be. So, yeah, that's why they haven't been good reviews on this game for the iPod Touch. But it is a good game. They say it's a great game to have for the iPod Touch. Only the retina display has to be fixed. That's the only main reason that it's been having problems. So yeah. And I recently didn't get the huge ring. Because recently I lost all the rings. So right now we're going to Act 3. We might get our second Chaos Armor if we don't make any mistakes by losing our rings. So yeah, alright, let's get this started. And I just hope you guys just watch my videos because I might be doing more on gameplays, maybe on the PSP. Because on Monday I did a pre-order on, on, on a new game that I, that's coming out on November. Damn, I didn't even want to go down. But uh, yeah, um... So stay tuned for that, and I'll try and see if I can um, ask somebody to borrow a camera, because for my next video, it might be a, well, usually maybe a, another gameplay of Sonic the Hedgehog 4, but um, I'll try and see if I can borrow someone's camera. Maybe my friend has one. I actually realized that this game is more faster as like usually from the other Sonic games, the old classic one. It, 
he it's more faster and I guess that's why it's more better game than the other ones. And they say that the Sonic games from this year are doing more well than before because usually they haven't having any good gameplays and I can't get up there. So yeah. Um I'm glad that that they're doing a good job. So Yeah. I'm also expecting for this new Sonic game that's coming on November two usually. There's one that's called Sonic Free Riders and Sonic Colors. And they both look amazing and I really wanna play that game for the Wii. Sonic Colors Sonic Free Riders on the Xbox three sixty connect. And we finally got to the big ring. <sighs> we have 22 lives, and we're gonna get our 23rd life. Yes. We're on to our special stages. And for real, I'm gonna concentrate on this, so I don't wanna mess this up. I never realized that using the iPad Touch to play the special stages are easy. Well, there are. And I just figured out that on the console versions, they kind of mostly are difficult to play them because of the joysticks and all that. I think it might be harder to play them on, in the Wii to do the special stages. But yeah. Come on, Sonic, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I'm trying to make this quick so I don't lose time. Yes! Make it that 10 seconds. I think it was a bad idea they, that they did special stages with timing. I think it was a dumb idea. They, they shouldn't have done it because people are going to have trouble trying to get to the Chaos Simone. And I was going to go back there, but too late. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, see you guys. See if I can get those Chaos Emeralds without recording this. And I think we have time to do a, our boss level, so let's do this. And I might do the, the special stages without recording, recording it. So yeah. There's a thing I want to point you guys out that the boss level on this one is similar to the first Sonic game. They came on the Sega Genesis, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys when if I get these if I get this last one. Okay, you're gonna see that it looks more similar to the old classic one. Look, Doctor Robotnik or Doctor Eggman with the wrecking ball. That was just totally weird. I thought they were gonna have a new a new that uh, Doctor Eggman was gonna have a new machine or something. To make this more challenging. Damn. I'm gonna kill you, Dr. Eggman. Yeah, he's kind of annoying. Because usually whenever he takes his rings out. And this is a new special move. Even though it's not the same as from the original one. But it is different. And I finally beat him up. I can't believe I missed that. Okay. Then finally beat Dr. Eggman. So I guess this is our end of our, our Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog for episode 1 gameplay. So, uh. Our next video will be covering 
Casino Street Zone. So until next time, we I, and whatever I say about the PSP gameplay, I might be doing it on Monday. So I'll be expecting for that. Stay tuned, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.